Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning, the show director for the American Quilter Society, and today I'm here with Susan Stewart, who won our Bernina Home Sewing Machine Workmanship Award. And what a beautiful quilt, Susan. Thank you, Bonnie. It's such a thrill to have this award. <laughs> Another beautiful quilt, I should say, <laughs> Thank because you. you have won this award before. Yes, I have won. I've been in this place right here two years ago. And I have won other ribbons at this show and other AQS shows, and it's always a thrill. Yes. Well, let's talk a little bit about your quilt. Gladly. Okay, first of all, I learned since I've been here that you made a Lone Star quilt to begin with. Okay, and so tell us how this is all pieced and then embroidered. This diamond has seven different fabrics in it. There are 16 little diamonds within the big diamond and they're pieced together and then they were pieced into a background fabric they're not appliqued on top or painted it's pieced into the background so there are lots and lots of seams in this background fabric that are this piece goes from here to here to here to here to, I can't even see my seams, oh, here. to here, I see it. Uh -huh. and then over to here, another wide seam, and over to here. So I enjoy the math part of this. I also made sure that because my background fabric is directional, it looks different going one way than the other way because of the sheen of the fabric, the grain line of all of the background pieces goes the same direction. That had to be very challenging. It was fun. <laughs> uh, when you stop and think about making this all go straight up and down yes. and the angles on each one of these pieces. Right, right. Now, not the diamonds, but all of the ivory pieces in between. Like this strip, the grain line goes this okay. way. This oh, one, this the grain goes line goes this way. This way and oh, this one sure. is bias. Oh, my. Well, so this was, this isn't a beginner quilt. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, okay, then it also, you had to do something to make all of these embroidery designs fit. Yes. Actually, I made the diamonds fit the embroidery designs. Uh -huh. I knew what size my embroidery designs would be from, from test stitching. Uh -huh. And so I designed my diamonds to be just the size that I wanted them to be so that the embroidery would flow over the edges and not overlap in between, but create that nice secondary design uh, of the embroidery. And then very, very careful placement of the embroidery designs over the piece fabric so that they all look the same. The uniform. Yeah. Now I see a lot of metallic thread on here. Yes. And so uh, did you use a special kind and do you have a favorite kind? Because I know that's one that gives people problems. Metallic thread sometimes gives me fits too. Uh, I think it's just part of the nature of the beast. Uh, I like to use superior see, threads and um, Yenmet is another brand that I like to use for the metallic threads and I use polyester machine embroidery threads rather than rayon. Well, we're going to get some close-ups of this because your satin stitching and all these are yes. just beautiful. Thank you. All right, and so um, what's it like to be a multiple winner or a repeat winner here at AQS? Well, I'll tell you, it doesn't get old. <laughs> it is so exciting to win the prizes, and, and I, I just can't tell you how thrilled I am. All right, and now we want everybody to enter our contest. Absolutely. The and more so, competition, the better. And so tell them, tell them why they should enter these contests. Because it is so exciting to see your quilt hanging in a show like this. Even if you don't win a prize, just being juried in to a show like this is quite an honor because the, the, the competition is so incredible. There are so many gorgeous quilts, so many different styles, so many different looks and, 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 and emotions in these quilts that yours might just be the one that catches someone's eye next time. It's just a lot of fun to be in one of the shows. Well, and so every year we have new winners that have never entered before. So enter your quilts for 2013 because you just might be that new winner. And every person who has won many prizes entered a quilt for the first time at one time. That's true. Well, congratulations again, Susan, and thank you so much for entering your quilt in this year's show. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs>